by Cold Have Edited. I still have edited. I was going to edit, but if I have to suffer, you have to suffer too. So yeah. We're going through this shit again. Deal with it, people. Deal with it. Yeah. And what does that trophy even mean? I don't know. I am, uh, even with games I like, I don't give a rat's ass about trophies. Um, I understand their the reasoning behind them. They can lengthen a game, but I find they lengthen a game in a manner that's, um, well, cheap. Um, going after trophies and achievements is not fun to me if I, once I beat the game, I beat it. I, why is this tutorial popping up? But anyways, once I beat a game, um, I don't bother 100% in it unless it's a game I thoroughly enjoy and I 100% it to standards which are... Okay, I just made a rank, okay, but anyways, yeah, 100% some just the standards, which are, um, well, mine. And those standards have absolutely nothing to do with trophies or achievements. None. Um, collectible items? I rarely go after those, I just cannot be bothered to, but if I thoroughly enjoy a game, I will go after the collectibles or bonuses or what have you. Um, That's um, pretty much the only game I've ever 100%ed is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And that was during the PlayStation 2 era. There were no trophies back then. And I admit I uh, used guides for that. And I I guess you could say that I did arguably 100% um, Super Mario Land because, but again, I used a guide to find where the hidden um, star coins were, and the only reason I even 100% of that game is because there are, it gave me a reason to 100% that are according to, well, my standards, and that's extra levels and gameplay. Um, I did not, I don't think I uh, 100 percented Final Fantasy VIII, though I um, certainly uh, made an attempt to. Um, I did get all of the cards in Triple Triad, but I. Uh, 
don't think I got all the um, side content or side missions. Um, I just, uh, yeah. I can't be bothered to 100% games for the sake of completionist rankings or what have you. Uh, if I enjoy a game, I enjoy a game. If I replay a game, I replay a game. Excuse me, um, trophies and achievements don't give me good enough reason to replay a game. Um, extra bonus content, legitimate bonus content, not skins, not weapons, but, um, Extra cutscenes, different endings, bonus levels, those give me added reasons, legitimate reasons, to replay a game multiple times, or 100% it to the point of I got all the uh, cutscenes, I got all the dialogue, I got every ending. Um, I did not 100% dishonored in the way that people believe. Oh. Dishonor should be 100%ed, but I, um... Damn it. But I did replay it multiple times, and... I replayed it in different styles. And I got three different endings. Um... I yeah, it starts me all the way back here for fuck's sakes. I did not get all the trophies. I did not get all the rings. I did not get all the talismans or whale bones or what have you. But I did get all the um. I did get the endings, three of them, so to me that is 100%ing it to my, to my standards. I got out of it all that I am going to get out of it. Now, I do have one bonus they download one DLC out of it, by the way, I'm talking about Dishonored 1, not 2. I'll eventually get to 2 just to satisfy my own curiosity, but I'm not paying full price for it. Um, Dishonored severely disappoints me, and, um, I, I am going to get a lot of shit for this, but I, honestly, I can say in my own rather unhumble opinion that Dishonored is an even worse game than Thief and Thief 4 or Thief 4 Thief or whatever the heck you want to call it is an atrociously 
disappointment, an atrocious disappointment of a game. It's... It's terrible. And it shall be played by everybody because it's... C4 is a game that people need to play so they realize just what a bad stealth game is. Maybe then they will realize why Dishonored is a bad stealth game. And every time I have this conversation, I get see, but Dishonored isn't a stealth game. It's a game you can play stealthily. Yeah, that's why it's a bad fucking game. Um, Bethesda? Stick to Elder Scrolls and Fallout. You don't know what you're doing when it comes to making anything that is supposed to be, play, be played stealthily. You have no idea what you're doing. You really don't. Um, people who bought Dishonored want, expected to play it as though they are playing Thief or a Victorian steampunk hitman. They expected to play it like a stealth game. It's assumed to be played like a stealth game. It's it wants to play like a stealth game. It should have played like a stealth game. It's a failure as a stealth so game. It just the opportunity to be involved in such cutting edge research. I it's just I simply too mind. easy for it's too easy as a stealth game and thank you, thank you. This is from Dr. If it were an action game it would have been better, but it's not an action game. It can be played like an action game. That's the problem with one of the problems anyways with modern games is they try and appeal to too many crowds. Um, there's no sense of identity. There's no sense of direction. <coughs> Excuse me. Dishonored has no identity as to just what it wants to be. It really doesn't. And that's what makes it so, frankly, atrocious. And that's what it is. It's it's atrocious. It, it was it, it was actually a chore for me to play the first time. It honestly really truly was. It was it was frustrating for all the bad reasons and I got to good endings the first time despite the fact that I frankly shouldn't have. Um, there was one part in the game where like I had my chaos level to low all the time. I was sparing people. I wasn't going for a no kill run so again that's another way. Uh, did not 100% it, uh, did not do a no kill run. But I killed the people, I killed the assassins. I killed the people I was meant to kill and save or spared everybody else, either knocked them out or snuck 
bodies them, save for one section where, um, I was, um, trying to, uh, kidnap Sokolov, I was in his house, there was loot I wanted to get, I had no poison darts, I was trapped, and I just went, okay, fuck it, I killed everybody. And I was fully expecting, and frankly should have, had my chaos go from low to medium. Not necessarily high, but medium. I didn't. And I was thoroughly, um, just confused and a little bit pissed because I, I should have been punished. That's what it really boils down to. I should have been punished for playing so recklessly and not giving a damn about casualties, but I got nothing. And, um, yeah. The second time I played it, I thought to my, I, um, killed. I wasn't a reckless killing machine. I was a silent murderer. Um, I killed everybody, no matter who they were, no matter what they were, who was in my way, save for innocent civilians who were, um, not completely sick with the plague. And the game with me playing recklessly should have been harder for me to do. There should have been more bad guys, they should have been more violent, they should have been more hostile. It should have made the game significantly harder. It was so much easier. Just so, so, so much more easier. Like, it was a joke. It honestly was a joke. It like it was almost a tra it was almost a tragedy how much of a joke it was and I have no idea where I'm supposed to go because well for one the bodies disappear but I think I've been here but yeah. And then the third time I played, I didn't even sneak. I played it like a... Kind of like a hack and slash... Victorian steampunk first person... Shooter. And... Again... Um... Wasn't punished enough for this. Oh, and by the way, this time I am. Um, I wasn't even. I didn't even care about who I killed. I killed civilians. I killed the sick. I killed the good guys. I killed the bad guys. I killed the people more or less just doing their job. I killed everyone. And I got the, um, uh, 
I got the best ending. That's a good ending, the best ending. When I played like a social, like a psychopath. Not giving a damn who lays or who dies. I got the ending where the princess or empress lives. And thought and says, um, it doesn't matter what happened to the people who betrayed me and who kidnapped her, uh, she was going to kill them anyways. And that ending, the bad, the uh, neutral ending, the, the um, not the good ending, not the ending that should have been the most rewarding, but the ending that um, should have been the most horrifying. That's the best ending. Uh, the ending where she dies is the um, bad ending and um as far as i can as i'm concerned the uh funny ending because um the supernatural beast or well pretty much tells you that um this is what he was hoping for, for the, uh, you gotta run dynasty, for the, crazy. um, empire to eventually reach its inevitable demise, which, um, he finds also amusing and entertaining, and it certainly, it's, it's he pissy. It's the ending that sort of pissed me off when I'm looking at this going, well, that certainly makes the most sense. It makes sense why you, um, gave me these demigod-like abilities. You wanted me to bring about the destruction of the empire and it's also it also explains why the um assassins who you are working against um also has demigod like powers anyways i died i reached a checkpoint take care everybody and